Another three points was the perfect lift ahead of the biggest clash of the season, certainly as far as pride was concerned. Liam Riswell left for the rivals in the summer and he would have a day to forget. But Villa weren't complaining as local lad Gabriel Abonnehor came up trumps to clinch the bragging rights. Looking for Stillian Patrick, does well, gets to the edge of the penalty area, fizzes in across the six yard box and it's gone in. That's an own goal by Liam Ridgewell, who's put Aston Villa one goal up here in the Birmingham derby. Excellent play by Petrov. Ball now on the edge of the Aston Villa penalty area. Play to De Ridder on the right hand edge of the box. He's hacked down there by Melberg, but the referee has actually adjudged that De Ridder actually died there. The referee has adjudged that he went down all too easily. Fabrice Muamba, which is the play to deliver on the right-hand side. Headed goal as Forsell has equalised there for Birmingham. That was a great ball into the box. He arched his back, did Forsell, and he's put Birmingham level in the Birmingham derby here at St Andrews. Ball now on the edge of the penalty area. Switched out to the left-hand side. Chance for Villa to put the ball into the box. Do so. It's flicked on there, and that's Agbona Lahore who has put Villa 2-1 in front here. That was a lovely whipped in cross, and Agbona Lahore was the first to react. Uh, well, you know, it's a it's a local derby, um, second city derby. It's, it's a massive game for you know not just the players, the fans. You know, everybody at, at both clubs, and you know to get the three points is um, is is what we needed. Uh, I thought the early exchanges all went to Birmingham. We settled down, got the goal in front. I thought we started to play not so badly then. In, in uh, if you if you get the chance to play in these derby games, and um, I thought we probably just about merited it in front at half time. Knew that this, this was going to be it's going to be seesaw. The game really opened up, and um, Birmingham got the equaliser. Who's to say they didn't deserve it at that stage? And I just I felt that uh, you know next goal wins the game. Obviously, if there's going to be one, I'm delighted it was us.